The markets are standing by for testimony from former FBI Director James Comey. And here now is Jim Cramer to break it all down. Jim, the market reaction from all this? Yeah, look, it, it's difficult. Um, it's difficult because what happens is, is that you always have to frame this in the confines of length of time that will go on, not necessarily because it's a Republican Congress, what will ultimately happen to Trump uh, at, politically, but his agenda. And his agenda, uh, which is tax cuts, which is deregulation, which is repatriation, is so far out of people's heads now. I mean, remember, this is supposed to be infrastructure week. I mean, think about that. We're supposed to be buying pent air off of, the, of water in Xylem. We are so far removed from that. Uh, Comey, uh, no Comey, he's a, a very uh, confident fella, uh, can pretty much uh, spin the tail uh, that it, it will make it so that we're not going to hear about, uh, about tax relief for a long time. And that's going to be problematic for all but the 15 stocks that I mentioned in Real Money yesterday and their ilk, which are the stocks that have of companies that have secular growth, regardless of what happens in Washington. That's quite different from buying companies that are uh, directly levered to uh, tax code changes. But at the same time, let's not forget that we had Draghi speak this morning, mm. where you just simply have to understand that the Europeans have to buy our bonds. Mm. So don't freak out that rates are so low. We will get a rate hike next week, and the banks are acting better for the second day in a row. That's because, again, separate from Comey, there are positives lurking. Mm. So yes, Comey is going to be a drag on the Trump agenda, but he is irrelevant to high growth, and he is irrelevant to higher rates.